Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to Cities Skylines. This is a new city called Lion Ridge that we are going to be starting today, and I am super, super excited about it. This is using one of the um, later map pack cities, uh, city maps called, uh, I believe it's Desert Valley, uh, from the map pack 2. Uh, which is available as an add-on to uh, City Skylines. And it comes with some interesting things. Number one, to start, we have very, very limited uh, water source. So we're going to have to work out a few things with how we want to figure out pooling water uh, for our city and then how also we want to treat water for our city for sewage. So uh, that's definitely going to be one of the first things that we address today. And then it has a really cool intersection uh, as well to start off our city building. <laughs> and uh, this road right here is going to be our main uh, road coming in. We also have train access right away, so that's going to be pretty cool. Um, although we're not going to be using that for a while for sure. But uh, let's go ahead and get started a little bit with trying to figure out <clears throat> what we want to do with a road network. Uh, I do think um, our first residential area is going to be kind of over here by, by these lakes. Um, and then our first industrial area, I, I'm kind of tempted to do a small industrial area right here close to the highway um, to begin the game. So the only concern I have is this train track. I don't want to build a lot of bridges um, or tunnels to begin with. So we're going to uh, really have to figure out what we want to do um, with that. Don't mind. I do have some mods on. We're not going to be using any of those today. Uh, but we'll talk about them on this build as we go. So to start, let's uh, let's just kind of figure out what we want to do a little bit with our road network. Uh, I do think I want to come to about right here with a road. I'm, I'm going to upgrade this later. I'm just trying to see where I want to cross these railroad tracks at. And I think I want to do that right here so let's get that um, that connection now I know all of this is gonna get upgraded so I'm gonna upgrade this rather quickly uh, I could have probably just built that in but I find that the dirt roads are a little bit more uh, mendable uh, and they kind of work a little bit better to, to what I want them to do so we will continue this um, down just a little bit ah, and I say just a little bit a good a good part there because this road is going to become obviously the main um, road for the major start of our city probably the first couple of episodes this is going to kind of be the primary road that we do most of our building off of uh, either over here or, you know, over here in the residential sections. So uh, let's lay out a little bit more of uh, what we are thinking. And let's play around with this a little bit and see what we want to do. Now, I don't want to come into this turn. I think what I want to do first is, is place our first road after the train tracks. And I think we're going to do this right here. And we're going to get a pretty straight... Um, perfect angle road coming down now for this residential to begin with I'm gonna leave these as dirt roads so as we kind of lay this out over here this is gonna kind of stay for now um, but industrial will probably upgrade to asphalt right away and down here I think I almost want to have a road coming pretty close to this train track kind of like that but I don't want that to cross here so we're gonna have to figure out 
uh, where we want to come off and maybe up here you know, kind of kind of over here a little bit closer to the turn and we just bring a road right out like that that's about as far that uh, I think I would want to go to this this intersection for right now this this highway interchange um, so let's let's play around with that a little bit uh, obviously we're gonna need to curve in so let, let's get a couple of things let's go to like right here and let's see let's go to like right here let's see what I can get on a curve for that ever slow slow yeah that actually works out perfectly that is almost exactly what I want I am tempted to try and fit another road back behind here. I don't think that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna really mess up. Never mind. we're not gonna do that. I don't like what that's gonna do to our uh, zoning. So <laughs> that may be something that we look at and just expand just so slightly when we expand tiles later on. Uh, but for now, let's get a couple more road segments in here. We're gonna come out right here. Can I kind of do this? Let's turn off some of this. Some of this, because I, I think we can follow this road pretty darn close. And then um, curve that ever so slightly. Yeah, there we go. Yep, that looks good. And then uh, we're going to kind of just do something similar over here and kind of get this block completed. Nothing nothing too fancy there. I think that's good. I think that'll be a good um, area. We can get a power plant right here. Uh, we can do some uh, different things with uh, industrial kind of over here on the other side of the railroad tracks and keep that a little bit of a distance from our residential, but kind of starting a city a little bit different than what I typically do. Now, um, this is pretty darn close to these uh, railroad tracks. We are not going to have the residential side um, that close. But <clears throat> we are going to have the residential side go up a little bit. So uh, we're going to kind of do these as, as um, you know, dead end roads. You know, you'd kind of think of this as, as possibly having, um, you know, a cul-de-sac at the end where, where the road just kind of ends. And we're going to place some of these. I, I was originally thinking that I wanted to keep these like little rocks, but uh, we're not going to. We are just going to kind of create some blocks here and uh, connect a couple of these, but not all of them which gives us just a little, little teeny tiny bit more um, zoning right there. And uh, what are we, what have we been doing? These, these look like about 200. I did that pretty darn good. Um, this one's gonna need to be longer though. So uh, we will, I don't know, we'll do something. Maybe I'll put a park in right there. Just have that be a big block. And then we're gonna kind of mirror this. So we are going to do the same thing. This is about 260. So we're going to take these down all 260. And just, oops, that one went a little bit too far. Kind of mirror what we started here, except over here, everything is going to connect. And we're going to vary it up a little bit. So uh, I'm going to lay out a few more blocks here. And we're going to go to 300. And this is where we're going to start to change this a little bit. Do a little bit more variance to um, what we're doing. Almost reducing the block size 
significantly. And we'll just kind of do that. Um, I'm going to extend this road just a little bit more uh, for future um, development. And then right here, I think we go through and put a road all the way. All right, so those that's some initial uh, road way layout. Let's go ahead and, and do some of our water pipes. Uh, I am going to turn back on. Oh, those are on. Never mind. Uh, I am going to lay quite a bit of, of uh, pipe down here to start, uh, but I am going to get very mindful of... Let me just clean this up again. Very mindful of our um, money here. So we're not going to lay down pipe everywhere eh, eh, to an extent. To an extent. I do want to be careful. We are getting a little bit down there in water. So let's, um, let's see what we're going to do for, I think we have to put down a bigger um, power plant for right now. I think we're going to kind of put this right there and then just be super, super, super careful with uh, what we do now for the rest of this. So we are going to put a water pumping station. I, I really don't like putting these um, this close to where we're going to have population, but I think as we kind of do this build, we're really going to have to think about doing something different than what I would normally do um, for uh, water in sewage. And then for right now, I think we're going to just do an inland treatment plant, which we will put up here. All right, now let's just make sure all of that stuff is connected and we can plop down some zoning. All right, so I have gotten all of the pipes laid and uh, we've placed our water and our uh, water treatment in our power plant. We're gonna go ahead and do some initial um, zoning here and uh, we're gonna do like these initial six um, blocks and then we're gonna need to I, I don't think that's gonna connect there and I know that's not gonna connect over here so um, I am gonna just play this slightly and then we'll come in with um, with some power lines and, and connect this as we get a little bit of building I could do some, actually, let me pause that. I could do that right there and that may get us what I'm looking for. Let's see if that power jumps. Don't think it's gonna jump. Dun, dun, dun. Yep, it jumped. All right, so then we just gotta power this and for right now, um, we are going to do this in a very not so uh, special kind of way by bringing this straight out and over. And now we have a working city. So that is what our goal is here. Uh, we're going to let the sim run for just a few minutes a few moments just so we can get some uh, demand here and then continue to do our initial uh, build out here. I'm trying to be very careful um, with finances. That's why I have kind of um, let the simulation run so soon. Uh, we are going to just kind of plop down some more residential right here uh, just to kind of fill that up. We're getting a little bit of commercial, which is perfect. 
So we're going to start plopping a little bit of that and uh, being a little, excuse me, a little careful with what we do here. I'm purposely trying not to zone on this road right now. Eventually, we're going to end up doing some zoning on that road, but for right now, I'm, I'm trying not to. And then uh, we got to think about a little bit of a commercial uh, use as well. I think we'll zone this in just there for now. And then I want a little bit of commercial on this road too. So we'll just kind of do a couple little uh, commercial zoning. Just, uh, just a real little bit right there for now. And then um, for our initial industrial zoning, we'll just fill that in, which should give us plenty of uh, zoning for the moment. Let's add just a little bit more too. I always want to be careful. I, you know, we've we've now kind of placed a little bit more um, residential zoning than what we needed to. Um, but that is okay as we kind of handle this initial zoning. Um, we should be good to go. Yep, the residential is picking back up a little bit. Still a good amount of industrial. So we're going to zone some more in here. I like that. I think, you know, we're going to kind of focus on building up right around this, this, uh, lake area at first. My concern is, is I don't, I don't know how much water I have here. So, um, that's something that we'll have to keep an eye on. I uh, should have quite a bit for right now. And let's just do that as well for some industrial zoning. We'll go ahead and fill this in too, why not? And there we go, we got our first, um, our first landmark, Little Hamlet. We have 480 population and we have unlocked taxes, loans, garbage, healthcare, education, and um, some new buildings. So we have landfills, elementary schools, medical clinic, recycling center, community school, large elementary school, plastic surgery center, medical clinic, and elementary school. So we're going to pause it for a moment here. And we're going to start thinking about some of our city services. Now, one of the things that we've done is, I, well, I did, I saved a little bit of space right here. I did not save some space over here. So I think I want to get rid of that zoning and we will, um, I, I will talk about why here in just a second. Let's go to our taxes and uh, we're going to raise everybody's taxes to 12%, which just works. So uh, we'll try and get some income coming in to our nice little city that we have uh, started here. And then we're going to worry about planning some of these um, some of these buildings. And the first one's going to be garbage. I think <laughs> I, I think we are going to plant a landfill uh, to start. And which is going to kind of take over my, my other residential that was in this area. I'm fine with that. Or excuse me, commercial that we had over there. I'm fine with that. But we're going to try and get as many of these services in as possible. Um, start with our school. I think for this build, we're going to do a, a regular elementary school. And I almost think I want to take, um, oh, that doesn't quite fit. That doesn't quite fit. 
I guess we're going to place that right there. And then, um, I think I want to get a medical clinic in pretty early too. This is something that I usually don't do. Um, I always forget about doing that, but since we've unlocked garbage, we've unlocked our health care. Um, we've not unlocked death care yet. Uh, and we have not unlocked our emergency services yet. So um, we are going to uh, continue the simulation and kind of see where our demand is. Definitely still need some um, industrial demand. So uh, we will fill in a little bit more of this area. It is building up. I'm going to wait a minute. Um, I'm also going to take back this commercial here. And uh, we'll put just a little more commercial in here. And I think I want to get a little bit of commercial over here. Just this one piece of land. That's going to be a little bit janky, so we'll kind of see what kind of building builds in. But I think we'll be all right. Just like a, you know, a business that, that got this land, they paid a premium for it, and they are um, taking it. I think we still have enough um, residential zoned. Uh, I am going to zone in a little bit more commercial, or excuse me, industrial. And uh, we will continue until we go to that next landmark here. Zoning a little bit more industrial. Or a lot more industrial. Trying to boost up both. Kind of keeping our city still kind of small. Um, might want to come in and um, upgrade some of these roads. Probably should have did that before. Um, and I honestly just forgot. I wanted to make this all. Not that one. That's all right. I wanted to make that road all um, normal. And I just severed our power connection. So we will fix that real quick in that one as well. And then uh, eventually the rest of this is gonna get upgraded as well. And then the entire industrial area. Do I have industrial roads? Don't know when those unlock. Don't think we do. Yeah, we do not. But we'll go ahead and upgrade all of this as well. Because well, as much of it as we can. So we have this little dirt connection that, you know, maybe these businesses just paid for it themselves. You know, who knows? They're like, yeah, we'll put in our own road. We don't need the city putting in our roads. And uh, let's continue. I don't know why I stopped that there. We are get definitely getting some more um, residential demand. I think some of that may be a little bit um, of false demand, but, uh, we'll go ahead and we're going to lay out some more residential areas and, uh, also get a little bit more commercial prepared to zone. And what we're going to do is this is going to be residential and this is going to be residential. And then right around the school is not, I don't think I want to put residential in right here, but on this side I will. Um, the reason, I think I want to add a park there. I think I want to add a park. And then we'll also kind of come in and make this residential. Take back that spot, which should uh, allow us to continue a road if we uh, need to. 
And then uh, let's go ahead and also, I'm really tempted to just kind of put a little house right there. Maybe, maybe a little house right there. And uh, maybe right here too. You know, let's see it. We just became a worthy village. So we got um, that next landmark that I wanted to get, which allows us to um, create districts. It does give us a new area purchasable. It allows us to set policies, take out a second loan, district specialization and services policies. Um, then we get emergency services, police department, unique buildings, forestry specialization, agricultural specialization, self-sufficient buildings, organic and local produce policy, or specialization rather. And then we get power, water, and smoke detector policies, but we unlock some firehouses, some police stations, a high capacity elementary school, a fire safety center, and a police security center. Okay. And uh, I just kind of want to see what house is built in here real quick. Looks like that's going to be actually be a nice little house that built in there. All right, we're going to um, slow down the build a little bit and we're going to put down some emergency services, which is kind of what I was waiting for. Uh, because we need to handle um, our fire department and our uh, police departments. Now, what I think I want to do, let's look at what these are. This gives us six engines. So these are the same. It's just the different looks. 560 and 560, 12,000, 12,000. Yeah. Um, I want to put it. I don't have enough space. Okay. If I put our fire, yeah, that's not quite what I want to do. So I think what we're going to do is do something I, I didn't plan on originally. We are going to expand this road out a little bit so I can put our emergency services uh, and the reason that I'm doing that is uh, I want them to be placed very specifically um, to aid in coverage here. I still don't know if that's going to do what I want it to do. So I might just put... Oh, I hate taking over buildings that we... Placed. I want the fire closer. Right, I'm going to place that there for now. And then it's just something I'm going to have to monitor. And then also we're going to put our police um, in right here. So. That is uh, both done. And then I think we have perfect coverage for our elementary. It, you know, we still have good availability. I don't think I need to... Um, expand anything there. Uh, we did unlock the large elementary school. I, we don't need that. Um, I feel like we should have unlocked... Cemetery. Oh, we don't unlock those to 2600. Okay. I feel like that's a long time, but... Hey, it, it is what it is, right? Alright, so let's uh, uh, zone some commercial here. And our commercial zoning, uh, we're going to do some commercial zoning here and some commercial zoning here, as well as here and here. And I'm just going to kind of take that all the way up and take off two units there. So again, having the entrances to our residential area um, be commercial. I guess we can just go ahead and complete this. I really didn't don't necessarily think that we need to right now, um, but that's fine. We'll put that we'll put that in there, and then uh, we also have a little bit of commercial over here as well. Maybe get another four, five. Yeah, we'll do that. Just you know, a little shop so you can get a, a little shop here while you're working, 
a little um, shopping here, you know, when you're maybe going to, to look at the water and that eyesore of a water um, tower or water drain, water suckage pumping station, whatever it is. And, uh, you know, just kind of have a little bit of fun. And I do think originally I wasn't going to put um, residential here. I am going to put residential there. And I'm going to put residential right there as well. That may change a little bit over time. Um, I am leaving some spacing in for a, a couple of houses. Or excuse me, I said I'm leaving space in for a couple of houses. I'm leaving space in for a uh, couple of um, walking paths, which is what I wanted to do over here is I wanted to create a path in uh, these areas. Do we have paths? I don't know when we... No, we don't. We don't unlock that until 1500. All right. So... With that being said, we do need some more residential. I think we're going to go ahead and expand out our grid here. And uh, continue to kind of figure out where, um, how we house people around the lake here. And one of the issues is going to be this pumping station. So I think what I want to do is... Create another road here that mirrors um, this one. And then we'll kind of come through here too. That just severed my power. Uh, so let's adjust this power line for right now. Here shortly we're not going to need that. But um, for now we'll just kind of put that like that just to allow us to kind of mess with some of the zoning and uh oh well we're building with regular roads so uh, we'll go ahead and put that in and then here i want to get some nice housing kind of right over here. See what we can do here. Yeah, I think we'll be able to get a decent, couple of decent houses that build kind of right on the lake right there. And then this one, I almost want to go just straight over, but I, that's going to require us to do some, um, some bridge work. So I'm just going to leave that road right now. And then uh, we'll kind of revisit that later. Cause I don't, I don't want to do, I don't want to make that look silly. Uh, and then I think this road right here is going to end, uh, come right into our main road. So let me extend that a little bit now too. And, uh, we can go ahead and play it. The reason I had paused it there was because I severed the, um, the one connection. We're going to come in and kind of change up some stuff again. I'm not continuing that road. And um, I do have some reason. I, I just, I don't want to continue that. I want to break this separation. So we're not getting a bunch of traffic here. So uh, we're going to break it. And then uh, we'll kind of come out here and do something. Uh, maybe we'll come in here. And we'll like dead end that road, having two more severed, um, severed connections. And then, uh, what we'll do next, let me just lay out a little bit more of the road network and then, uh, we'll be right back.
All right, so we did just reach Tiny Town, so we have uh, 1,500 population. We've unlocked a lot of stuff in this one. Our park areas, our industry areas, our pedestrian areas, landscaping, event policies, park policies, a um, bunch of new services for parks and industries and fishing and um, football buildings, concert buildings, a uh, bunch of policies. Uh, we've unlocked some of our roads uh, that we were missing, including our small industry road. So we'll be using that. We've unlocked our canals, uh, fences, and parks, which is kind of what we've been waiting for. And we will be using that. Uh, we also have, I have some parking lot assets. Uh, we've unlocked some of those as well. And then uh, what I've been doing is I've just kind of been laying out some of this area and zoning in some residential. Uh, I was very particular on this and I'm leaving some spacing. So we've zoned this residential. Some of it's close and then some of it you're going to see some spacing in, in between. <laughs> and the reason for that is, is I want to create in this particular area a little bit more of a higher value feel. And we're going to have like a big park right here. And, uh, you know, gets, you know, there are own schools kind of over in this area as well. Another elementary school to kind of service this, this area. And then we're going to do some things with landscaping as well. That that's, uh, kind of cool. But what I want to do is <laughs> take a good look at, um, where we are demand wise and just kind of fill in a little bit more here as uh, demand kind of continues to grow. And we're gonna speed this up. And I'm just gonna finish this episode with some zoning. All right, so what I did here was just temporary. These buildings are eventually going to be taken down. Um, I just wanted to try and level out our zoning just a little bit without expanding our industrial area, which we're gonna do in the next episode. Um, but I, I wanted to just kind of get a few of these buildings placed, a few of these factories. Obviously that's really, really close to our rail and uh, we're gonna make some changes to that in the next episode. Uh, so what we're going to do next is uh, just kind of take aim at, uh oh, we have some power problems. Uh, let's fix that real quick. Uh, we are going to just place another power plant. And uh, to do that, we are going to have to take um, that building back. Sorry. Uh, for now and uh, that should solve our power problems forgot about power as we expanded um, So what we're gonna do with this episode. This was kind of our initial layout um, So we're gonna kind of take a, a little quick tour around and see you know what we've built what we've done big residential area definitely still have some needs and we're gonna be uh, well, we accomplished our goal, which was to have our residential right around here in the first episode, a small little ind industry area in a city that is growing up quickly. I'm Denrick. We will see you next time. Have a good one.